This Mexican street corn soup is inspired by the delicious flavors of Mexico, but with a Midwestern spin. It's loaded with tons of flavor that comes from a handful of simple ingredients. This soup is garnished with cajita cheese for an easy dinner your family will love. Okay, so in our medium Dutch oven pan here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and heat it up until it's slightly hot, and then we're going to go ahead and add in a quarter cup of cooking oil. To that, we're going to go ahead and add in our kernels, one cup of yellow onion, our quarter teaspoon of ancho chili powder, a pinch of salt, and go ahead and give that a stir. And we're gonna just let this cook for about three to four minutes. So go ahead, just make sure that you are stirring this occasionally. Um, it's a lot of corn, it's a lot of onions, it's a lot of product in the actual Dutch oven itself. So it's gonna take a few moments to heat up. If so, you can also turn up your heat slightly. And then if it gets too hot, you can also slow it down by lowering it. So I went ahead and I put the um, Dutch oven lid on to speed up the heating process. And as you can tell, it's, it has definitely um, increased its heat output. So we're gonna keep just stirring this around. It is getting nice and soft in here. And I do see bits and pieces of the corn starting to char a little bit, but you're not gonna have too much because there is moisture on this corn being that it is frozen. Go ahead and season that with a little bit of black pepper. and give that a stir. At this point, you wanna go ahead and add in your garlic. We're gonna go ahead and remove about a cup and a half of corn in a separate bowl. And next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our two and a half cups of chicken stock or vegetable, whichever, whichever you prefer. Okay, so we're looking for this nice boil here to then tell us that we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on and we're gonna lower the heat and let this simmer for about 20 minutes. That's gonna help reduce it and concentrate the flavors before we finish the soup. All right, go ahead and remove your lid very carefully. Dutch oven lids are fairly hot. And uh, let's go ahead and give this a quick stir. And to this, we're gonna go ahead and add in our sour cream and our Mexican cheese. And give that a stir. And let that stir and melt. And to further incorporate all this, we're gonna go ahead and use an immersion blender. Now you can use a Vitamix, but we're gonna use an immersion blender, which is essentially a stick blender and that's gonna help blend up the items in our soup here. The corn is also gonna act as a thickener, so it's gonna also thicken the soup once we start mixing it all together. Okay, and then we're gonna add in our lime juice, our lime zest, and our cilantro. So we'll add in our one lime, add in the zest, Give that a stir. And this will really help open up and release their natural essential oils, making this really, really tasty. And then we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle in just a little bit of our cilantro and save the rest for garnish. All there is to do is to top it with our reserved corn. Go ahead and garnish it with some fresh cilantro. A little bit of smoked paprika, just for color. And sprinkle a little bit of our Mexican cheese right on top. All right, and there's only one other thing to do. Let's give it a taste. Get some of that corn, some of that Mexican cheese. Yeah, wow, that's really good. 
that lime, you can taste that lime, that zest really brings out the flavor. The paprika adds a little bit of smokiness and color. The cheese adds a nice balance of salt. Um, and the corn just adds that nice texture element. Listen, if you love this video and you wanna see more great videos like this, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And guys, we'll see you in the next video.